This Sunday, we turn back those clocks an hour, which means we will get sunlight earlier in the day, but those afternoons will get dark sooner. But do you remember three years ago, California voters, maybe you, passed a ballot measure to do away with the time change altogether? I seem to remember that. News 8's Richard Allen takes a look at where that measure stands, as well as some of the potential health impacts of the change. Well, that's right. Since California voters passed Prop 7 back in 2018, lawmakers at both the state and federal levels have not taken action to turn the will of the people into reality. I like it. Falling back to standard time, meaning sunset will happen before 5 p.m. on Sunday, is an issue that can divide families like this one. I think it's awesome just because the kids are inside a house and in bed earlier now. So. <laughs> but 10-year-old daughter Emma doesn't buy that. I don't like it because I want to go play outside more. 60 percent of voters statewide sided with Emma when they headed to the polls back in 2018. But despite Californians' support for eternal daylight saving, the state legislature still needs to approve the move by a two-thirds majority. And after that, Congress would have to give its blessing. Voter Cindy Lawrence questions the inaction over the past three years. Nothing gets done, so what are they doing? At this point, under congressional rules, individual states do have the option of remaining on standard time year-round if they wish. Daylight saving time was adopted in the U.S. during both world wars in the last century as a way of conserving energy, and in 1966 became part of the official U.S. calendar under the Uniform Time Act. It's a move that most of the nation's farmers have vehemently opposed, as it means less light while working early in the mornings. I don't like going back and forth. Among them, farmer Jennifer Campbell. In the winter, at least we go in at a decent hour, eat, have family time, and, and that's nice. There are also some health-related drawbacks to the sun setting sooner, according to Dr. Michael Larden. We see people that don't have histories of depression developing some symptoms of depression. So it's something that we really need to be cognizant of. During the adjustment to the time change, there's also initially a higher incidence of accidents and injuries from the workplace to the roadways, according to Dr. Larden. So in the first week or two uh, after the light change, I think that's a time to really pay attention, make sure you're getting your sleep, make sure you're getting your exercise. And so don't forget, we do fall back at 2 a.m. this Sunday. One minor consolation as we lose that hour of sunlight each afternoon, at least we gain an hour of sleep this weekend.